In other two-minute tutorials, I've talked about the power of using masks in general, and also specifically focused on the use of color masks. With color masks, you can create a mask that targets portions of the image that have a specific color. These masks are most often used to enhance those colors. By adjusting the image with a mask in place and using the Curves Transformation tool, you can get in there and change the neutral tone scale, the lightness and darkness of that, those particular colors, the saturation, and you can even manipulate specific color curves to achieve the look you want. Today, I'd like to suggest another use for color masks. I recently reprocessed some old data for SH2101, the Tulip Nebula. Once I had taken the data nonlinear and starless and created my first color SHO image, I began to process that image. As I normally do, I created a series of various color masks to use for enhancing the image. I use these in a fashion that's similar to what I just described. Then I realized when you look at the image, the areas of brightest color also have some very interesting detail. For example, in this particular image, if you look at the yellow areas, there's all kinds of really interesting dust knots in here. And as you look at the yellow down in here, you also see some incredible detail. If I was to look at just the blue areas, the blue areas aren't just solid blue. They're a mix of colors and they seem to have a little bit of detail in there that would be interesting to bring out. So I thought to myself, why not use color masks to selectively enhance the detail of an image? With color masks, I could easily adjust the detail level of just the yellow regions, and I could treat those differently than the blue regions, for example. Here we also have two of the color masks that I prepared for this image. The first one is my yellow color mask, and the second one is my blue color mask. Let's apply the yellow color mask to this particular image. We can verify it's in place by doing a Command K. Now we can see just the areas that I'm targeting. And so this mask is doing a pretty good job of highlighting just those areas. And notice how some of those areas have some of the interesting detail that we were just talking about. Okay, now let's take a look at the local histogram equalization process. This is a process I often use when I want to enhance the contrast and bring out some of the details in local areas. I'm going to use this tool and I'm going to engage a live preview so that I can see what's happening in real time. I'm going to draw a box right in here. So now we're zoomed in on just that level of detail. When I come down here, obviously I can change the kernel radius. I can change the contrast limit. I can change the amount. I can even change what histogram resolution is being used. But since we're dealing with small detail here, I figured the default isn't too bad. And what I can really do is start playing with the amount slider to see what looks good. And as I change this, I bring it down. You can see there's not a lot of enhancement going on there. But as I bring it up, you see more and more enhancement taking place. And so as adjust this to get the look you really want. Now, in my particular case, I'm going to adjust this pretty high, much higher than I normally would do. I just want to make sure I'm creating a difference that you can actually see in this video because the video sometimes loses fine detail. So let's say I like this particular setting. I can come up here and I can turn the effect on and off to get an idea of with it and without it. So that's with it. That's without it. And that's with it. And you can see there's certainly better definition when we have it engaged. So like I say, this is probably stronger than I would normally use, but let's go ahead with that for the purposes of demonstration. Now that I've figured out what I want to do there, I can just get rid of this particular window. And now I can just drag the triangle here onto the image. Now, let's try the same thing, but let's use the blue mask. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drag the blue mask over. I'll put that in position. I'm going to ensure that I have that actually engaged. I'll do a Command K. And you can see that I'm really focusing on this particular area in there. And now we're going to engage the real-time preview once again. And once again, I'm going to choose the area that I want to focus on. So we'll come right down here and make sure we're grabbing a chunk of the blue so we can really see what's going on. While we can play with all the controls for this demonstration, I'm just going to play with the amount control. And if we turn it way up, you can see what's going on. And if I turn it way down, you can see that it's much more subtle. Now, it's interesting. There's not a lot of detail in there. So what you're bringing out is much more subtle on the blue. And you might want to be more aggressive to bring out more. So let's say I brought it right there. Let's see what it looks like on and off. 
there's with it off, there's with it on. And with on, this little arc is, has much better definition and some of the variations in the background look a little bit better. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Again, I'm gonna do this more than I would normally do for an image just to get a feel for it in this particular demo. Without, with. So now I've been able to really apply a different level of sharpening there. Let's get rid of the live preview. And once again, we can drag this down onto the image. This may not work for all images, but as you use color mask to enhance your image, consider whether there is interesting detail that you want to accentuate and consider doing that while you're working with your color mask. You can use local histogram equalization like we've done here, but there are other sharpening tools that could be applied with a mask that would work just as well. This is something I don't often see people doing when they're working with a color mask. They're usually so focused on getting saturation and the color the way they want it, they don't think about sharpening or other detail enhancement. But for some images, it can be really helpful. 